Hey everyone, uh, welcome back for another Instapot recipe. This time it's going to be about turkey and potatoes. Uh, turkey's not just for holidays. Well, it's a long weekend this weekend, but it's still fun to make and it's really good. So, this is what you're going to need. Well, at least this is what I used. You gotta look. I used a bone-in turkey breast with the skin on and it's about 4.34 pounds. Good size. Also, I added another turkey breast with the bone out and it's about 1.62 pounds. So you're looking at approximately 5.96 or 6 pounds worth of turkey breasts. Gonna need about, wait for it, uh, 3 pounds of little baby uh, potatoes. They're, they're cute and they're yummy. And you're gonna need 2 cups of uh, chicken broth. Uh, one for the potatoes and one for the turkey. That's it. Well, some pepper. And you will need an oven for a part of it. It's really good. Uh, the simplest way to cook turkey that I know of. It's not a whole day affair, the whole bit. So I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Let's begin. One cup of chicken broth, stock, or whatever. Throw it into your Instapot. If you notice, I have that little racky thing in there too. It's important. That's where the turkey's going to sit on. So go ahead and add that. Now grab your turkey breast. This is the bone-in one. Settle it in there. Fits perfect. Now add the boneless turkey breast right on top. Just throw it right on top. Seal it up. Venting, right? You want to turn it so it's not venting. No steaming. Turn it to off, whatever, so it's not venting. <laughs> Anyways, then turn it on, manual high, and then set it for 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, three zero. Let it go. That was quick, right? So when you come back, natural release, so don't turn it off. Let it go for 10 minutes. Again, 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is up, turn it off and release the steam. You should use a mitt or something like that. Don't use your hands. Once you can open it, open it up. I'm going to grab the boneless turkey breast here. Grab that little sucker. Just going to throw it on a cookie sheet. It's done. Now I'm going to grab the big lad, the bone-in turkey breast. Careful, easy. I'm going to plunk it into basically a roasting pan. Now I'm just going to season it with pepper. That's it. No butter, no margarine, just pepper. So eventually once it pops out, there we go. Just season a little bit with pepper. Use whatever you want. Oh, and by the way, if you wanted to put stuffing in it, you could have put stuffing in it, you know, before you put it into the Instapot. It's all good. We normally do our stuffing outside of a turkey, but whatever you want to do, it's all good. So anyways, put the pepper on and then throw it in the old oven. So plunk it in the oven and turn it on to broil. And set it for high, like high, low, whatever. Uh, you got to watch it, right? You don't want it to burn. You just want to get the skin crispy because the turkey is done. It's done, done. Yes, you can use a turkey thermometer and all that stuff. There's really no need. It's done. But to be safe, go ahead and do it. But anyways, put it on high and let it get crispy, yummy. Now clean your pot. I already cleaned it. And add another cup of chicken broth or stock. And if you notice, there's not the... Uh, little insert in there right it's just the pot so throw a cup in and then add in my case it's like two packages of 1.5 pounds each of little mini potatoes they're yummy just throw that in so in my case two packages plunk it in seal it up venting to off so it's not steaming it's not venting <laughs> and then set it on manual high for 11 minutes just 11 minutes so again five Five, one, eleven. Now, after you let the uh, turkey breast, in this case, the, the one without a bone, uh, sit for a bit, you can cut it up. And it's done perfectly. It's moist. It's yummy. Perfect stuff. If you know how to cut properly. I, I obviously don't. Now, after a certain period of time, keep your eye on it, right? Really important so it doesn't burn. Take out your turkey breast from broil. Look at that. Seriously. Beautiful. Done and done. So in this case, I'm just going to transfer it to my cookie sheet. I'm going to let it sit for a bit before I start cutting into it. 11 minutes again for the potatoes. So after things have been sitting for a bit, you can cut into your turkey breast. Now look at this. Look at this. Just cutting into it. Done and done. Uber moist. The best turkey I've ever had. Lovely. Fantastic. Now we've got meals for a few days. Now after 11 minutes... Turn it off. There's no natural release. This is for the potatoes. Release the steam. 
Release the hounds. Once you can open it, open it up, and there are your potatoes. Yummy. Just scoop them up, throw them into something. In my case, I'm going to throw them into a little container. Whoop. <laughs> uh, throw the potatoes in the container, not the container and the potatoes. Easy mix up. So anyways, do that, and they're perfect. They're not too soft. They're not too hard. They're just right. And there you go turkey and potatoes if you wanted to you could have had stuffing you can even do a gravy with the leftover stuff from the turkey in the instapot okay but whatever quick simple and yummy eat well my friends i hope you enjoyed it cheers <laughs>